What is up, ladies and gentlemen? We're back here for yet another episode, and uh, as you guys can tell by the title, we're going to be doing a big swim bait fishing video for you guys. And uh, swim bait that I'm actually going to be using in today's video was sent in by a subscriber by the name of Lane Lewesson. Sorry, man, if I am uh, pronouncing your last name wrong, but uh, he also has a YouTube channel called Guy Fishing, and uh, it's going to be linked down in the description. So make sure to uh, go subscribe subscribe to his channel and go check it out um, but he sent over this awesome swim bait right here it's a uh, I think it's about a six inch swim bait I'm not completely sure six six and a half or so um, or we'll just call it five to seven inches um, but it is probably one of the biggest swim baits actually the biggest swim bait that I have ever fished with uh, so it's going to be a very fun challenge um, hopefully I will be able to uh, catch a big one but I want to make a quick announcement that uh, I have started a new Instagram called LMB Lures it's kind of where I just sell some of my lures that I don't use um, because I have a lot um, I was going I was going through some of it uh, I think like during spring break and uh, I have a lot. I have a lot. Um, so I'm going to be putting some awesome uh, deals up on there. And actually right now we're doing a huge sale on Legendary Baits jigs that if you buy jigs from LMB Lures, you can only buy it for, through there, not the uh, Legendary Baits website. But it's two dollars each jig. So make sure to go follow LMB Lures. I will leave it down in the description and uh, yeah but I've already posted a couple spinner baits on there and War Eagle spinner baits brand new still in the package are two dollars two dollars guys so uh, yeah but other than that thank you guys so much for watching make sure to hit that subscribe button and uh, also I'm still doing my 500 subscriber giveaway so make sure to go check that out link is down in the description and uh, yeah so let's uh, go catch some fish hey guys so just got down here to the pond and uh, I'm actually uh, not even gonna like keep moving on up there because uh, I don't know if these bass are very close to the bank yet they were pretty close last time I'll make a couple casts out there the one thing that might kind of hurt me a little bit today is that we have gotten tons of rain in the past week here where I live and uh, that it's muddied up the waters a lot every pond that I've been to or I haven't been to many I've just seen a lot of them they're all super muddy they're all chocolate milk so I don't know maybe we can get something out of today but uh, keep your fingers crossed guys Oh my gosh, guys. Oh my gosh. That's a catfish, isn't it? Yep, that's a catfish. Dang it. Oh my gosh, guys. Holy cow. Look how big this catfish is, guys. Oh my gosh. Come on, buddy. That's a catfish full of grass. <laughs> oh. Come on, buddy. You're good. Alright, guys. I was finally able to get that catfish undone. If you guys don't know, I am uh, not a... Uh, not a uh, supporter of catfish. Like, I don't really like them. Uh, I mean, I like to eat them. But, uh, I don't like it when they bite my line. Just because they're slimy and they like to roll around a lot. And, it's just... It's just a pain. But... On a good note, we got them undone, and uh, still wishing that was about a five pound bass, but you know, it is what it is, so I'm going to uh, get all this grass off of my bait, and then I will cast back out there and hopefully not get another catfish. Oh! 
Oh, guys, got one. Is this a good fish? Oh, not a bad one. On the swim bait. Yes, guys. Yes. Check that out. On the swim bait. And this right here is exactly why I put on that bottom hook. Right like that. Mmm. Just like that, guys. Nice fish on the swim bait. Yes. Alright guys, I'm going to put this guy in the water. Off he goes. Hope you guys enjoyed that uh, little underwater release. Got a couple pictures of that fish. And uh, there he goes, guys. He absolutely hammered the swim bait. He's not a big fish at all. But he absolutely hammered it. Which was awesome. Awesome first fish. Hopefully we can get one a little bit bigger than that. But uh, that's one reason why I put on that bottom treble. I put that, that's the reason why I put that bottom treble hook back on. Is uh, so then I can at least better myself. Like, so then I can almost at least get a fish. You know, if, if a fish hits, they'll pretty much get hooked. Unless they just barely get the tail. But hopefully we can get some more. Oh, guys, got one. Oh my gosh. Yes, guys, finally got a second fish, or a second bass at least. Look how small this fish is, guys. Oh my gosh, this fish is, the swim bait is probably bigger than this fish. Honestly, guys, look at this. Oh my gosh. Here, let me switch hands. Look at that, guys. That bass is probably two inches bigger than the swim bait itself. Oh my gosh. Okay guys, get the release on her. Off she goes. All right guys, well, I'm gonna keep throwing this around for a couple more minutes and then, uh, then I'm gonna have to go because it is almost time for me to go eat edit this video and uh, sun's almost down too all right guys so I hope you enjoyed that video um, I did catch one catfish and two bass on the swim bait and uh, actually the last bass that I caught the swim bait was like the exact same size as the swim bait so uh yeah but other than that thank you guys so much for watching make sure to go check out lane lewesson and uh, i highly appreciate uh him sending me over the big swim bait is a very fun challenge and uh if you guys want to send me anything uh dm me on instagram at lmb nation <clears throat> LMB Nation 1 and uh, I will get back to you guys and uh, yeah but other than that thank you all so much for watching and uh, we will catch you all on the next episode of LMB Nation peace guys